Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Board of Selectmen's meeting for January 25th. Thank you very much. And unfortunately, it seems all too often we've had to open our meeting with a bit of bad news for the town of Arlington. Um, unexpectedly, on, on this past Saturday, Roly Chaput uh, passed away. Uh, there's a hundred boards and commissions in the town of Arlington, and uh, you'd be hard pressed to name one <coughs> that Roly didn't impact over his many years of service. Uh, currently, he's on ATED, and what I'd like to do is ask for a few words from our colleague Joe Curo, who serves on that committee with Roly. Um, and then we'll have a moment of silence. Joe. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I, just, I just saw the manager's notification. I, I just saw it right before I came to the meeting and I was um, uh, devastated. Um, as, as the chair said, um, Roley served on many, many committees. He was one of the co-chairs of our, uh, our 200th anniversary celebration here in town. Um, driving force for the, the Visitor Information Center and especially um, really watched out for Robbins Farm uh, Park. He's been in front of us about uh, efforts to restore some of the historic statues there. And he was so involved up there and such a kind man. Um, in addition, even though he you know, long past having children in the schools, he had continued for quite a while serving on the school council up at uh, the Brackett Elementary School because his grandchildren were there. Um, and one maybe little known fact, if you uh, knew Rolly, he always wore this hat, it said 4,000. He, one of his uh, feats, in addition to all of his volunteering here, is that he actually climbed all uh, 4,000 foot peaks in New Hampshire and was a real inspiration. I was just so blown away that, to hear that he had gone because he seemed like the kind of guy who would never stop going. As, as uh, coincidence would have it, we, um, some of us have on our desks here this new book that some of you have probably heard of, The Legendary Locals. <laughs> of Arlington about uh, which picks just a select number of people who've made important contributions to our town and there's a uh, picture of Rolly right here standing at that mic and uh, that's how I think I'd like to remember him so uh, thank you Mr. Chair for the opportunity and um, I hope we'll have a moment of silence. Yeah let's have a moment of silence for Rolly. May God have mercy on his soul, and uh, God bless his family and friends at this difficult time. Um, so um, on a happy note as we lose a long time individual who uh, paid tremendous service to this town, um, we are pleased tonight to welcome on a much happier note, uh, our newest uh, Director of Planning and Community Development and before we grill her for the first time in many, many grillings to come, let me first turn it over to our town manager, her boss, Mr. Chapelain. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, so as you just mentioned, tonight we have the opportunity to introduce to the board our soon-to-be new uh, Director of Planning and Community Development, uh, Jenny Raitt. So Jenny most uh, immediately comes to us from the MAPC, the Metropolitan Area Planning Council. Uh, but also has experience working in the nonprofit housing field as well as having experience in uh, another community, uh, Amesbury, as well. So she comes with a great background. Uh, she rose to the top of a very talented pool. Uh, we had a screening committee that included members of the local business community, a representative of the ARB, folks from the Master Plan Advisory Committee, now Master Plan Implementation Committee, myself, the building inspector, uh, and a former planning director, Kevin O'Brien. So uh, we had a nice, uh, nice rounded out mix of people doing the screening and we're very happy that we were able to uh, be able to bring Jenny on board. So without saying any more, I'd like to give the opportunity for the board to say hello. Well, thank you very much for the welcome. I'm really excited to start in the new position on February 16th and to get to know each of you um, individually as well as how you work together. Um, I'm, as Adam said, I'm coming to you with years of experience in planning, land use planning, zoning, as well as housing and community development. And I can bring that to the town and have already started to actually work with staff um, who work in the Department for Planning and Community Development and feel that I'm going to be making a very good transition to help oversee and guide a lot of the work. So I'm looking forward to working with you and with Adam and other staff. 
Do you, have you, first of all, noticed how well run this community is, Jenny? Have you, are you impressed looking at this board up here, for example, just as one example? Arlington impressed me right away. Very well run community, great leadership, That's lots great. of vision, mm -hmm. and uh, lots of resources and tools right at its fingertips. Yeah. That's fantastic. Colleagues, questions, comments? Mr. Dunn? Oh, uh, oh. oh Mr. Byrne. Thank you, um, Mr. Grillian. Sorry I'm late. As I was uh, driving here, I realized that it was a 7 o'clock start, not a 7.15 start. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I apologize. But I will say it's uh, um, in an interesting turn of events. Today was my first day at the Metropolitan Area Planning Council. <laughs> and um, I uh, met you in this morning. So. Um, <laughs> I uh, but I can't so say. Wait, wait, wait. So you hired her here so you can take that position, <laughs> Mr. Burns? That, that is, I had absolutely no say in that, but I'm uh, very happy for the town. I, um, as I was meeting um, everyone today, um, everyone just had stellar things to say about Jen and how fortunate the town of Arlington is. So I'm uh, looking forward to her joining the team. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you, Steve. Yes. Anybody else? Yeah, Mr. How do I, oh, Joe Mascaro. How do I top that? <laughs> <laughs> I was just impressed that she gave us uh, the benefit of the doubt that we know how to work together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome. Looking forward to, uh, to looking, we obviously have a long history of uh, excellent planning here in Arlington. Yes. And uh, we have a pretty spectacular park named after one of our spectacular uh, planning directors. And so, you know, 40 years from now, maybe maybe we should put up a park with your name on it. I, I say that half in jest, but I'd be, you know, let's let's do good things. I would be honored, and thank you. I hope so, too. Yes, Ms. Mahoney. Sorry, I have a nasty cold. Um, welcome to Arlington. Very excited. Um, heard very um, high accolades from the town manager um, at different points in terms of the interview process and um, the committee he compiled and um, as things were going down, and then when you were hired, um, he had nothing but exemplary things to say about you. Just to put my foot in the water because you're here before us tonight, not looking for any answers on anything, but just one of the things that we most recently, that has kind of revamped itself, that we rely on our planning director is the MUGAR issue. I know you're very well versed with that, um, with MAPC and um, working throughout the state. And we were fortunate enough with um, Ms. Kowalski um, and then years previous when this 10, 15, 20 years ago. Um, so that for me, that's something that certainly will take a portion of, of your plate, plate or uh, platter. And then just my only, only other personal thing that I sort of pitch whenever I can is um, just when, I know Arlington, we can't rely on bringing in lots of big businesses and you know getting to a Cambridge or Somerville or Burlington number. Um, but one of the things that I've always kind of put forth sort of as a vision is the industrial park up in the Heights, um, as well as the lesser known um, thoroughfares of undevelopment on Broadway and some on summer. And um, I don't know if it's possible, if you've had any experience with this, but when I was first involved in town in terms of when I went to Lexington, I was like, you know, how are you getting everybody up here? You know, we're jealous of all the businesses. And they're like, well, how are you getting everybody with the restaurants? So it was a shared thing. And, um, and one of them was the tour buses, getting them to stop. And so I was told two things. Basically, number one, when you go forward in your planning, there's really nowhere in Arlington for a tour bus to stop. They do Schwamm Mill, Old Schwamm Mill when they're emergency, they need to fill something. So I'm not, you know, I envision Je Jefferson Cutter, something like that, but that's how you get the tourists here. And then the other thing is, you know, a lot of people say to all of us, you know, I can't get a t-shirt. Well, you can at Walgreens, but, you know, a higher, uh, more of a department, department store, like a baby gap. And what I was told was you have to really um, identify yourself with a flag company. And then when you are doing development or redevelopment, maybe, does that sound right? It, right, it does. Okay. So I guess I'll just put those chips, not that you have to say anything, but if sure. you want. That well, you I mean, with the Mugar par property, I'm, I'm going to be here to guide you through that process. And we will, I'm, sur I'm sure we will talk again about this when I'm on board and um, with other, you know, really, you know, critical stakeholders. And I don't have an opinion or something to say about it right now. And I, I'm actually not as well versed yet, mm -hmm. but I will be very soon um, and can provide, happy to return to this board and other boards to talk about it more. 
Um, in Which terms I'm adamantly of, opposed to the project, just so you know. Understood. But I'll let the town manager understand. Would you tell him? <laughs> we, will, we will talk about it again, right. I'm sure. Um, and in terms of the other items, you know, economic development and other things that you were talking about, I think engaging Ted Fields and others who've been actively working on those issues would be important for me, as well as for all of us, to understand a little bit more about that. And, um, you know, thinking about the kinds of things that you've said and how they factor into the master plan and the master plan's goals would also be important. Thank you. Welcome, Jim. You're welcome, and thank you. And, and this is your official start date is actually when, Jenny? February 16th. February 16th. So it's quite understandable you're not caught up on everything yet. Yes. So, uh, But it's pretty impressive how much you've done so far. We started out historically, I think, not doing a good job uh, with our development in Arlington when on April 19, 1775, the largest battle of that day took place at Monotomy with 2,000 uh, patriots and British soldiers uh, fighting here. And the rumor is that Longfellow could not find a way to fit monotomy into the midnight ride of Paul Revere. <laughs> but then changing our name twice after that probably didn't help. But I think in the years since, we've done quite a bit uh, to help with uh, both the historic and the economic development of this town. And uh, really look forward to working with you on all of those things. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you Best for the welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Joe, you're all set, right? You, all set. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you welcome. very much. Good luck to you. She also has the thrill of she will be joining us for the beginning of town meeting. Mm. Which, that was the initiation I was referencing uh, before, uh, Jenny. So, uh, Okay, consent agenda. Uh, the minutes of the meeting for January 11th. Move approval. Second. Second. Discussion. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Licenses and permits, number three. This is a request for common victuallers license, the scoop and scootery. Austin Crittenden, was that you, sir? Yes. Please come <coughs> to the microphone. Excuse me. So you've been operating a, a, a truck, and it's so successful, you're now going to do a storefront as well. Is that the idea, sir? Uh, yes. Operating in Somerville for the last year and a half. And we're getting a little bit too much volume to handle in that truck, which is roughly 10 feet long, <laughs> about a half a foot wide some days. So it's, uh, it's really nice to make it into a brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. Great. Good for you. Thanks for choosing Arlington. Appreciate that. Can't wait. Comments, questions, motion? Move approval, subject to conditions. Second. Move approval, second. subject to conditions. Seconded, Mrs. Mahan. Um, I, I just want to clarify, and that's that's fine, that your hours will, you're closed on Monday, but you anticipate staying open the other six days to 2 a.m.? Yes. Okay. And you feel you'll, you'll have the client. Do you know what building you're going into that you're replacing? I'm trying to picture one. Uh, it was uh, Salvage LTD. It was antique shop. Okay. So but. not a restaurant. He's actually creating it. In himself, but it was salvage, which was our second-hand dealer. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, good luck, and God bless you if you can get him in there at 2 a.m., but that's, <laughs> it sounds like you probably already have a loyal following. So. Yeah, that, that early in the morning is we, we deliver our Sundays. Oh, okay. We're, we, we deliver with delivery drivers. It's mostly our avenue. We, we want to take in as much foot traffic as possible. That's important to us. Mm -hmm. But uh, delivery, especially to Tufts communities and the Harvard communities at 2 a.m. is, is oh, big time okay. for us. Oh, so if Kevin gets a hankering at 1.45 a.m. for a double Dutch Sunday, he can... I'm going to scoot. <laughs> so, no, I just wanted to make sure that that's what the intent was. Good yeah, luck. I mean, we, we that's also, fine. We, we're not going to allow foot traffic to like to come in too late because we, we do care about the, the families. That That's around. what I was thinking of. And we, we are just going to be doing deliveries probably after midnight. That's fine. Um, but yeah, just trying to keep it respectful. Mm -hmm. Good. Good answer. Mr. Burns. Um, thank you very much. And I'm, I'm glad that a truck from Somerville is now locating in Arlington. Um, and I also just want to say I've uh, driven by several times and seen you, you and um, maybe a coworker yeah. really um, working pretty hard down there. And I know that that's a lot. So I just want to um, thank you for everything you're doing down there. And um, looking forward to it. So glad. Thanks thank for you. having me. Anybody else? Uh, Austin samples. Samples, absolutely. Um, when we I meant right now. <laughs> right here. Yeah, I actually have a couple of my drivers out back. Uh, <laughs> guys, some testers, so. On the motion by Mr. Curo, seconded by Mrs. Mahan. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. 
Thanks for choosing Arlington. Best of luck. Yes. Hope it goes well. It. Thank you. Uh, next, under licenses and permits, um, Mr. Uh, Heim, are we expecting counsel here? Should I wait on this? No, I, I don't believe so, Mr. Greeley. Okay. Or at least I'm not, I'm not certain. I know that Mr. Leone is aware of it. It's certainly not required that someone is present for the, um, for the vote on the decision as opposed to the hearing. Okay. So, um, as we are all aware, we did hold a hearing uh, on uh, common ground and alcohol suspension decision, and we took a vote that evening. And the next step is for Mr. Heim to write up that decision. And so that is before us tonight for final approval from this board. Uh, comments or motion or anything? Mr. Dunn. Uh, move approval. Second. Move approval is there a second. Discussion? Yes, Mrs. Mahan. Um, just very briefly, briefly, um, and I would uh, reference the remarks that we had at the earlier hearing um, when the uh, Mr. O'Quinn and his counsel were here. Um, as brief and succinctly as I can, I am still going to be voting no, only because um, I feel from the testimony from Mr. O'Quinn when he appeared before us previously, myself personally, um, I did not feel that he really took the issue, the tragic accident, uh, as seriously as he should have. Um, I did ask for, and I really kept an open mind. I, in my mind, if I saw someone at the microphone, a beloved customer and quasi-family member, um, a little bit of contrition or um, some sort of acknowledgement of the seriousness of it, um, I didn't feel that I was treated that way in terms of documents that I asked for. I understand some of them have come in, but not all of them. So to me, that's also a testament in terms of um, how serious, in my opinion, the is issue is and is not taken. And I was pushing for um, if there were another violation in the future for 30 days, just based solely on the testimony by Mr. O'Quinn, um, that 70% of his uh, business is food. So a two-week shutdown really wouldn't hurt him that much. I did say I really doubted that figure, sort of having a little bit of a family background in the restaurant business and asked if, um, and he's nodded that he would, so I don't know that's necessary. He said he would. I asked if we could just get a, his POS uh, point of sale review um, just for one quarter that shows, because I really doubted the 70%. So for that, and I, I, I won't belabor the point any longer except for um, I just, working at the ABCC for close to 20 years and having been in similar situations, I'm not saying a person has to act a certain way and, and not, but um, for myself personally, I don't think Mr. O'Quinn really gauged the seriousness of it as in representation of the fact that um, I asked for three or four documents. Mr. Leone made a representation to, a, to four documents and then Mr. O'Quinn uh, said no something that Mr. Leone said existed and would be revised doesn't exist. So we have received some, but not all. So I just wanted to explain I, I'm going to be consistent with my vote, and that's why. So, uh, Town Council, it dawns on me. Should I have called on you first, sir, on this? Anything? <coughs> oh. I, I don't have My any, fault, Diane. I, I don't answer. think it's necessary as long as the board is satisfied with the draft decision to get comments from me. Okay. So uh, let me then at this point, I mean, there's... Um, I, I would just like to be clear, Mrs. Mahan, you don't feel it was a stiff enough penalty. Is that a fair statement? Yes. Okay. Here is the penalty uh, and what we're actually voted on. Uh, for the reasons stated herein, the above rep referenced license is suspended for three days beginning on or after January 25th, said days to be consecutive and beginning on a Wednesday, but otherwise so selected by the licensee to be completed before February 29th, 2016, and reported to the Office of the Board of Selectmen in advance. An additional 14-day suspension shall be held in abeyance for a one-year probationary period in which the licensee shall also be prohibited from being granted extended hours of service for any reason. It is further stipulated and ordered that the licensee shall terminate its shift drink practice as described herein, and that all employees shall read and sign for Common Grounds Alcohol Service Policy on or before February 29th, 2016. In my 27 <coughs> years, this is the most severe penalty we have ever issued uh, against an alcohol uh, licensee. 
So, did you make the motion, Mr. Dunn? I did. Okay, and seconded by? I seconded Further it. discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Nay. So on a four to one vote. Anything else we need to so do? So the decision will be, uh, as the decision now being finalized, it'll be reported to the ABCC and then um, a copy will be provided to the, um, to the license holder. Okay. Uh, so thank you very much. Thank you. So traffic rules and orders, other business, discussion and approval, the Selectman's Draft Handbook, which was uh, given to this board and they had one month in which to study it and send any recommended changes or alterations to this office of which there were none <clears throat> at this point would anybody like to make any changes amendments just an administrative change i noticed in, in my last reading did you get it in by january 6th no i didn't uh, well, so, um, well it, too late i, I no, might no, have no, actually no, i don't no, know go ahead, <laughs> oh, go ahead i don't know no i just i just noticed in one place that there is a reference to the arlington committee on arts and culture it's actually the commission on arts and culture per, per the bylaw what page, page would I think I've got it. Please. And that's important. Thank you. I don't have the page. Can okay. you but I can search it. I can, I can yeah. So if you it. would, yeah. will you just make sure you get that to Marianne? Yep. Because we want to have these really nicely bound and finished and everything. Uh, it, <coughs> any other changes, comments? No. Uh, Th th there's just, um, you know, this was a, I think it's just about a year uh, <clears throat> since we started this, maybe not quite. Uh, but uh, Doug Heim, uh, Marianne Sullivan, Eve, Stephen, uh, just deserve a tremendous amount of credit for getting this done. And Kevin, of I course. Mean, well, yes, I know he wouldn't say it himself. Yeah, well. Yeah, it was me. No. <laughs> but no, they really, Doug, Mary, and Eve did the research, the typing. I mean, really, it's amazing that there was so few um, changes, I mean, even just uh, grammatical or whatever. So um, so this is it. All the, uh, uh, can I have a motion, please? Move, receipt, and, and approval. Move, receipt, and approve. Second. 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 And all of those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Marianne, put it to bed. Congratulations, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Thank you all. Absolutely. Take that sticky off her desk. <laughs> can I be know. replaced with something else. Well, and, and Marianne, it's page 18 as, as printed. It's 19 in the electronic. Okay, excellent. Thanks, Joe. Uh, next is a request for a permission to hang uh, a state without stigma banner on the town hall uh, balcony. But it was this, this has been, oh, this is the one with Tron, excuse me, okay. I believe it's going to be put on the public safety. Yes. Am I correct? Yes, correct. okay. Yes. All right. Move yeah. the table or no? Yeah, move, uh, it, or just not Kevin, never okay. Kevin never should have opened his mouth. That's fine. Okay. Move that Kevin never should open his mouth. Aye. Out of order. Sorry. You gave it to me. No. Okay. I know. So you're done. You're not <laughs> speaking by Mrs. Mahan tonight, no. Uh, so now as we head down to the special town meeting, uh, let me turn this over to, uh, you know, we have all spent a lot of time on Minuteman, but Mr. Dunn has been exceptional. Uh, uh, and I know Mr. Curo, Mr. Chapdelaine, I don't mean to slight anybody, but Mr. Dunn has been a dog on a sock about uh, this issue which we have fought for years and years and years, and there's just no way to say thank you for all you have done. What do you want us to do on Article 7, Dan? <laughs> um, so we, all the good, we voted in principle all these uh, articles already, and so this is just the, the, the language that's actually already out to everybody. Right. And so just for the sake of formula, we can approve this final language. Um, and I appreciate the kind words, but it's not done yet, and there are really are many, many people who have worked on it. I'm going to have a new experience on Wednesday. Wednesday, I'm going to the Belmont Warrant Commission, the Warrant Committee, to talk to them about their votes on this. Before they bring it to town meeting. Yeah. Is that it? Wow. How many towns would you say you've been to <coughs> on this? That I've physically been to on this one? I don't know, seven. Seven? Yeah. But you've spoken to all of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
So uh, one at a time, both. Uh, how do you um, I, I think we can. Do, I mean, unless anyone has anything, we should just adopt these final version of the comments. So I see Doug raising his hand. Yes, yeah, Chairman Greeley, I just want uh, the record to reflect that these comments are based on the vote that the, the board already took yeah. because of the timing of special town meeting this year. It wasn't possible for the um, for you to vote on the uh, comments as they were until now even though they had to be sort of published in advance. I note that, Mr. Greeley, you were not present, which is why they reflected the way they are. Um, but I think a formal vote just is required to um, um, adopt what you guys had already previously stated on this. Okay. So uh, move <coughs> approval of the comments as written but for Article 7 and 8. Second. Second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Okay. And correspondence received. Move receipt. Move receipt. Is there a second? Second. Uh, anybody want to do anything? Yes. I, I guess I would through the chair. Yes. Um, and I'm not sure if Mr. Byrne is our TAC rep, but the two pieces of correspondence on Appleton Street in light of the, um, one is from the homeowner saying that um, there was a vehicular collision and I guess she sustained some property damage. Um, and she wrote and had some concerns about um, addressing that. She also had, I want to say Sarah, I'm blanking out, Sarah Bud, um, some high commendation for Arlington Police Fire and, and other public works services that responded. And then there's another piece of correspondence from 106 Paul Revere Road. So what I would ask um, if either Mr. Byrne or Mr. Um, Chap <coughs> Chapdelaine that we bundle these together. Is this something appropriate for TAC or? I am. Um, my I wouldn't mind having uh, Officer Rateau probably take a look at it first and then um, seeing what he has to say about it. Okay, so if we could refer those two pieces of correspondence mm -hmm. to the town manager for our traffic safety division to review. Second. And always love getting letters of commendation and appreciation, in this case one for Building Inspector Richard Valorelli. Uh, yes. I, um, I would like, just like to note on that. I've known um, Mr. Val for uh, quite a long time, and um, I think uh, this letter really reflects who he is. Um, just one of prob one of my, I don't want to, because I know he is in a department that you know means a lot to me. But I, um, I just think he is a, a really outstanding person, and uh, his character really shown through in uh, this uh, incident. So thank you. Okay. And I'd like to add that yeah. I'm really appreciative of. Um, Every resident that you know contacts us in good times and in bad, um, and Jeannie Larry, we all know her. Um, yes. For her to um, sometimes she brings forth issues that really need to be addressed, and um, perhaps we could do better on. But she's also the other way in terms of you know one of our one of our employees or more does a really good job that she takes out the time to make sure that that is noted. Um, and I did appreciate the detail that she provided because. That, that was a lot of work and <laughs> interface, you know, with the uh, inspectional services in Mr. Valorelli. So I'm, it's nice to see that when, some of, when we're doing a good job. Not that I had anything to do with it. <laughs> we all good? We're good. So on the motion to receive and then refer to the town manager and to say thank you to Jean Larry and to Richard Valorelli. All mm -hmm. those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Aye, all those opposed. New business, Marianne Sullivan. No new business. Mr. Heim. No new business, sir. Mr. Chapter Lane. No new business. Mr. Byrne. No new business. Ms. Mahan. If the town manager could just, because uh, a couple of people had called me, just a 30 second, I understand there was what I call a robocall that went home regarding a meeting tomorrow night um, from Chief Ryan. Oh, yeah, sure. Just so um, I, I had notified the board last week that after a lot of discussion internally, um, based on the suggestion of both Health and Human Services, the police department, and the police department, we used the Arlington Alert System, the robocall system, to notify the entire community, everybody contained in the database, of an outreach meeting in regards to the opiate addiction tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at the Whittemore Robbins House, focused on um, the drug Vivitrol, which has uh, proven effectiveness in preventing relapse. Uh, from opiate addiction. So um, as you would know, you know, the, the police department has really been trying to take every avenue it can to reach out to the community to bring people in. <clears throat> we decided that this phone call would be the next step in bringing the whole community uh, or making the whole community aware of the efforts that are that are out there. I just want to thank you and the chief. Um, it was a very brief but informative um, robocall from Chief Ryan. Um, also mentioned about Narcan. Um, 
I yeah. wish I could be there, but I have a basketball game tomorrow night. But I just want to take advantage of the opportunity. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Any new business, Mr. Carroll? Uh, thank you. Well, speaking of robocalls, just quickly, I'd, I'd like to just thank the uh, police and fire and school departments for their um, handling of the, the recent um, uh, bomb threat. But my daughter is a, is a student at Darlington High School, and she told me that the students and staff seem to feel very well informed during it and, and were reassured. And she noted that when they brought the students out that the MBTA buses were already staged to bring students who didn't have family available down here to the town hall. And uh, so if you know, the students are feeling secure in that, I, I can't say my wife was necessarily quite as calm when she first heard the news, but I think that uh, ultimately everyone was quite well informed. Uh, I'd like to just uh, commend the response, and I think it's a, a testament to all of the, the training and preparedness that's gone into um, getting ready for the, the unlikely event that something like this might happen. Thank you. Mr. Dunn. I actually was going to talk about the robocall as well, and uh, I just wanted to, my, my comment was specifically that um, <coughs> I think that there had been some concern and anticipation that some people would think it was an inappropriate use of the robocall, and I wanted to specifically call this out as a health crisis and the fact that we are treating it as a health crisis as we should. And if we had um, something else you know whether it was a you know whether it was a water problem or a, some sort of you know communicable disease or anything that would cause a number of fatalities in our town over the next year, we would do this exact thing. And just because it is a because it isn't you know like a traditional one of those emergencies doesn't it still deserves that treatment. So I wanted to kind of make that point and kind of get out in front of that criticism just because I think I really do I really am glad that the manager and the chief. Uh, went forward with that. Mm -hmm. um, so related, I I was reading uh, the New York Times last night before I went to bed online, and uh, Chief Ryan was quoted in an article. Uh, it was a, it's an article about the efforts that are going on in Gloucester, and uh, Chief Ryan talking about how he was cu taking some ideas from that and in, in, in putting them within Arlington's own pr uh, project. So I really am, continue to be supportive of the work and the innovation that he's doing there. And um, I also was going to speak about this. My wife teaches at, is the art teacher at St. Agnes, and the day before, there had been a bomb scare mm -hmm. called into St. Agnes. My wife called from, in the situation she called uh, lockdown, keep safe and secure or something, I don't know. But um, the, she and that whole staff were also very impressed. Uh, with the how well things were handled, how smoothly uh, the kids were really scared. You know, these are in this case she had uh, preschool kids, kids in her yeah, classroom yeah. who were really scared, and uh, the police were just awesome in terms of how uh, well they treated the kids and evacuated the building safely. So Adam, um, Chief Ryan, and uh, on. Thursday was it was the high school one and Wednesday was my what was St. Agnes I forget but the next day I'm watching TV and there's Chief Ryan on TV being interviewed with uh, Kathy Bodie as well so uh, we're, we're we're lucky with the team we have here in Arlington uh, and we have two new ones who are with us here tonight as well so uh, is there a motion to adjourn um, I'd like uh, to move that we conclude Right. this portion of the meeting and that we will reconvene down at town meeting fl floor in open session solely for the purpose of any um, <coughs> necessary votes that may arise um, during the course of the special town meeting in accordance with the um, laws set out in terms of it has to be announced by the moderator we'll meet out in the hall I, I'll volunteer if that happens to take any minutes and that we adjourn um, concurrent with um, adjournment of the special town meeting um, which hopefully will be tonight, but it could be Wednesday night. Second. A second. Um, so all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. Uh, the next formal meeting of the Board of Selectmen is February 8th. Good night, Arlington. See you all at town meeting.